Hello everyone, this is a free to back with another deck review. Today we're looking at the Wizard of Oz from King's Wild playing cards designed by Jackson Robinson. I will say that this is not based on the movie or movie characters, but it's inspired and based on the characters uh, from the old school book. Uh, Jackson Robinson decided to take some of those characters and bring them to life in a new colorful uh, envisioning of his so I think that's pretty cool put that by expert playing cards it's got a side opening tuck case that says Oz wrapped right around it and it looks like a book from the other sides with the ad copy on the bottom no seal obviously really really big flap it's a little bit too big I feel as you can see to get it in it's a little bit hard you have to bend it could have been a little bit smaller I think it would have been fine and the inside you got, I don't know if that's supposed to be foliage or lizard skin, but it is what it is. I will say, these cards are warped to all hell. I don't know if they're all like that or what happened, but yeah. And I should also point out that there's a few different versions and cases and gildings out there as well. Now, you start off with some diptych, diptych tokers showing the gang heading to Oz. Really cool. The back design is got some nice foil in gold and it says Oz with a pattern of foliage in the background. Pretty cool. Nice emerald green color. The Ace of Spades says Oz on it. The spades and the clubs have, it's, it makes it a little bit confusing in my opinion. They got blue pips, but then they got a red index. And the red suit cards actually have an orange index with red pips. I feel like that can be a little bit confusing for gameplay, but I mean artistically it's fine. The court cards of course have all your favorite characters. The lion, the cowardly lion, the flying monkey, I think that's the evil wits of the west, I'm not entirely sure. I think that might be the wizard. I'm not sure who that might be, other than perhaps the uncle, of course there is the um, Scarecrow, I think this is, was it Esmeralda, the Goodwits, one of them anyways. And then there's this guy, maybe he's the wizard, it says Oz on his hat, I'm not entirely sure. And then there is Tin Man, Dorothy, and this freaky looking guy, <laughs> and another freaky looking girl actually. Not sure who those characters are. I never read the book, unfortunately. Now, it's not exactly what you would find in the book. I don't think there actually is images in the book, but it's basically, or maybe there is some, but it's his interpretation, his vision of what this should look like. And very colorful, of course. And I don't think they had color, so he just, that's, you know, his touch. Number cards, very nice. They got something going on in the background. Again, I do feel for playability purposes, the indexes kind of make it a little bit difficult. Hey, do I have a red card? No, wait, it's a, it's a, it's a blue card, black suit, and vice versa, but it is what it is. Printed by expert playing cards on a very warped stock <laughs> and a classic in linen finish, embossed finish for, you know, what it is. As badly warped as it is, it still handles pretty nicely. And I'm going to go find someone to set on these and flatten them out. <laughs> uh, that is that. Comment or subscribe let me know what you think. I'm going to give this one an A. I do think, like I said, there could be some playability issues. And I don't know why the hell it's so warped. But aside of that, very nice. I like his take on the wonderful Wizard of Oz. <laughs> so we'll see you next time for more. Thanks for watching. And... See you next time.